What's going on, everybody? This is Jacob here. I'm live in Miami right now and uh, gonna change up the type of video. Today we're gonna be doing a trading in the life in Miami. So I'm on my Airbnb right now. We'll do a quick Airbnb tour. We'll go over how I'm trading for the month and then some other activities. So yeah, this Airbnb is uh, downtown Miami, uh, pretty much near the core. And it's a very nice area. You can see, uh, we'll start here with the kitchen. Pretty nice. Got the laundry going on right there. Uh, we got one bathroom there. This is my room, the master bedroom. Turn on the light here. It's a little messy. Had a bathroom there. My friend uh, Sam is staying with me, so he's staying in that room over there. TV, living room, little trading desk here. It's been a good month so far. We're up 84,000 on the Ninja account. So it's been pretty good. Been working on a new um, mean reversion system today, just back testing it, finding some, some new trading ideas. Markets have been a bit more mean reverting as of recently, so I've been focusing on, on building more of those systems. Uh, and then here is the view. Let's pull out here. Beautiful day, might go to the beach today. And this is Miami. Incredible view. There's a tennis court down there. I played tennis a couple times, volleyball, and then there's a basketball court just behind that condo there. And there's been some good runs, so I've been playing there as well. You can also like walk around here and you know get your steps in and just be very active. That's one of the, the things I like about Miami is like everyone's really active and in a fit lifestyle, which you know, I'm with that. Um, what else? So there's a yeah, grocery store there. So I'm here for the month. So I've been getting groceries there. This is a cool like hip bar we've been going to uh, every weekend. It's a good time. And um, there's Miami Beach over there. So that's all Miami Beach. And right now this area is called Edgewater. It's pretty much downtown Miami. So it's an awesome view. I've been filming a lot of my videos out here. I'm sure you guys have seen that. And uh, yeah, it's just been a great time. Um, decided to come down here for the month for sort of my birthday. My birthday was November 5th. I just closed that. So I've been staying here for the whole month and I think I'm gonna be moving down here. That's the plan. The plan is to move down here. I think there's a lot more opportunity in Miami. And as you guys know, I'm Canadian and I wanna get away from the cold. I wanna get away from um, the weather and just being stuck inside a lot because it's so cold out and there's so much snow and uh, have the opportunity to move down here. So I think I'm gonna do it. Anyways, um, that's the tour. Uh, we're gonna be doing some fun stuff. I think we're going to the beach later today. And uh, my friend Sam's uh, renting a Corvette as well. So we'll, we'll show that off. And uh, yeah, that's it. What's up, what's up everybody? How's everyone doing today? Thomas, happy Friday indeed, yes. Happy Black Friday and Thanksgiving to all that celebrate it. Joyce, I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for, thanks for asking. Vinicio, good to see you. 19th session of live strategy building sessions. Every Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern, we either build a new strategy together live most of the time, 99% of the time. Sometimes there's some tweaks that we gotta make, but we build a new strategy together, and I share the source code with all of you uh, as we try to improve our portfolio. And we also go over our previous strategies that we built and see how they're doing in the current markets. Are they making money? Are they gonna be able to pass that kind of sim incubation phase that we have. Every strategy that we build live, we run it in a sim or paper account for at least 30 days uh, to see that it's making money in the current market before running it live. Um, so we wanna kinda go back, see how they're doing, and see if there are any passing, and we'll update our Excel sheet. Cartoad71, hey there, good to see you, man. I'm gonna let a couple more people in here, and then I will share my screen. We'll go over our previous spots, and then we'll go over today's new strategy which actually trades VIX futures, which I think is a first for uh, some of you guys. Uh, there is futures that you can trade based on the volatility index futures, AKA VIX futures. And I think it's gonna be a great diversification play for this portfolio and profitability. Recently, we added the max drawdown uh, for each of the strategies. Max drawdown is good to know in terms of potentially timing the strategy and when to start it, or just to know uh, what you can risk. Now, with that being said, a strategy can always go past its max drawdown. I see it a lot, right? 
Um, I've had strategies that I've added and even portfolios where I had a max drawdown. I'll give you one specific example. In September, um, the portfolio I was running at the time had a max drawdown of $27,000 per mini, right? So every mini that I traded, it'd be $27,000. And it exceeded that max drawdown and actually went to $29,000. So I went $2,000 past that before rebounding and somewhat recovering. Um, that portfolio is still not fully recovered, although it's bounced back quite a bit. But that max drawdown is sort of like a goalpost, right? It's going to be a moving goalpost a little bit. It may exceed it, and you can fully expect to exceed it by 10, 20, 30%, um, depending on market conditions. So I knew that, hey, the max drawdown was um, 27,000, uh, but I knew it could go past that. I could probably go up to 30, 35, uh, worst case scenario. Um, and you kind of have to account for that. So that's why in a lot of our portfolio um, capital requirements where you want to know how much money you need to run a portfolio. That's why usually uh, you take the max drawdown, you double it, right? Multiply it by two. And then you also add the worst trading day as well. And that gives you enough buffer to, to kind of handle that max drawdown if it goes past that and some room to, to bounce back. So here's all of our settings. Most of you here have seen this sheet. If you've not,